Friends, it's, uh, it's video time. Uh, I promised this one yesterday, and it turns out it's a perfect uh, day to do it because I'm doing a video on fungus, and um, one of the war zone tasks today is uh, using hyphas, special hyphas, fungus nutrients. And so I'm going to, you know, work in my uh, fungus colony and get those points, and I'm going to do some building. I want to upgrade my um, fungus depot, and it's a perfect time to do it. But also, I want to get this last shell right here because I want those 1,600 creature remains. So, yeah, it's on. Let's do it. Um, like, subscribe, and comment down below. And let's get started by taking a raspberry. So we need one advanced raspberry. Luckily, I have one up. And then let's go do some war zone. So it was building power so let's go up to my fungus this is my fungus video fungus depot level three this is where you you let's take a look at it details the fungus depot this one holds 10 million fungus and um, let's see more info i'm at level two and I'm three it'll hold 15 million yeah i'm gonna get extra five million capacity if i can upgrade this and I had to collect a whole bunch of, there's another video I put today, I collected a whole bunch of sand and I got 35 million total sand and wet soil so that I could do this project. So there we go. Now I'm down to 10, 10, but that's where I started. So let's speed this up. We use as much speed up as you can, quick tap, and then finish it with diamonds. So you see that got us almost there. So let's go do the fungus colony pro proliferation and then I'm going to talk about everything I know about fungus and uh, I got a little secret for you so hang on the clues are all in my video if you look back through the video you're going to find out you can see the clues and I'll tell you about it in a second but let's find our mutation center mutation flora if we go into mutation and we see fungus and it says that I can upgrade uh, my fungus colony proliferation so I'm gonna do that and then use some um, you know what before we go in here maybe we should get some um, fungus nutrients so if we go down here to the underground apotic ep optic apoptic fungi store and we see that we can buy a bunch of things in here with Epotic fungi. So that's one of the fungi we're talking about today. Epotic fungi. You collect those in the um, um, underground maze? No, in the challenges. So let's look at the challenges. Funguses are pretty, pretty complex. <laughs> and uh, the secret I was going to share with you is that I, um, in real life, work with fungus. I'm a fungus breeder. Uh, it's one of the things I do. And uh, so I know quite a bit about the life cycle of fungus. Yeah, so this is a good video for me. Um, so under fungus challenge, let's go. We can challenge. Now, I haven't improved my fungus in a while. So I'm probably not going to win this. But I can try it again after. But this also gets me rewards for the daily task. If I attack, do the fungus challenge. So fungus on the fungus challenge day. But I wanted to come in. I already claimed all the um, apogee fungus. But in these challenges, you get paid in apogee fungus. So if I look again at the apoptic store, the apoptic fungus. Um, if I go back to mine store. Uh, okay, in the mine store, apoptic fungi store, you can get a bunch of things. And one thing I should get, get as many of these as I can. Buy some yellow spider fragments so I can upgrade my... Yellow spider later on. In the dual store, there is nothing related to fungus. In the mine store, we have fungus nutrients, which we're going to need. So I'm going to buy as many as I can. Fungus nutrient. Buy these in the mine store. If you don't know how to get mine crystals, I'm not telling you in this video. You can figure it out. So I'll do it another one. But you get mine crystals. Now, we're attacking in the mines and mining. So let's get this fungus nutrients. And you also need hyphas for fungus. So we'll buy as many of those as you can. You can do this every day as long as you have available crystals. And I'm a bit behind on my fungus. 
And for a fungus breeder, and when I first started the game and I saw that fungus was a thing, I, I wanted to be a good, really good with the fungus, and I let, let it slip a bit. So in the special ant dual store, we get some more hyphas, red crystals, and some special hyphas. Uh, I understand hyphas because they're part of mushroom biology, and um, we need these for the fungus. There we go, fungus nutrients. Now we're going to go back and work on the fungus. I want to get this out of the way and get the war zone done, and then we'll have a nice chat about fungus. All right. Now, since I was already there once, I should have been able to already find this thing. Where is it? There we are. So, I don't want germs. I want mutation. I'll do germs another day on germ day. Um, okay, so in fungus proliferation... Filamentous colony, level nine. Um, and I think it's number eight I wanted to do first. Number eight gives you special ant, special ant skill attack and special ant skill defense. So it's a good one. Quick select. It shows you how much you need to use. Replenish. And I'm going to use, to use some stock, remaining stocks, yes. And yeah. Now can I still do another one? I can either do this one, shooter ant attack, carrier ant defense, guardian ant health, or I can do carrier ant attack, guardian ant defense, shooter ant health. And I'm really specializing guardians, and I like my carriers. So quick select. We'll do this one. Use the resources. Wow, we're almost to the colony, or the war zone. Oh, and I can do this one too, incidentally. So quick select. Replenish, use. That uses that. Anything else I can do in the fungus? No. So let's go back out. See if I can upgrade this one more time. Upgrade. Replenish. Use. Let's see. Not even close. So next time. I gotta do one more building in order to get that done. But let's talk about fungus first. And I've got some notes because I really care about this one. So straight thing is straight to the leaf cutters. Uh, back. Then we go to our leaf cutters. So the leaf cutters, they take leaf. So I'm going to supply them with leaves. You got to fill these on the regular to get lots of mushrooms, fungus. Because fungus is nutrition for all ants, especially larvae. And uh, it's a building that is used for energy for building a lot of different things, but especially I'll show you after the the termite farms. When I show you the termite farms, you're going to see how important mushrooms really are in your building and development, and not just for feeding your ants, but feeding larvae of termites as well. So we're going to fill all those, and they'll continue to produce fungus. Now, if you keep your leaf near your leaf cutters and your fungus depot nearby, they can just zip, 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 zip back and forth. You put them far away, it takes them a lot longer. You'll gather fungus faster if you do this. Now, one of the things that's built with um, mushrooms is not the insect nest, that's fodder, but the insect, to upgrade the insect, um, the termite farm requires 16 million now, if I replenish this and I pay 11 million diamonds to replenish it, you're going to see I can get 14 million. So I'm way behind. On These are very costly. So to get them leveled up, a lot of people don't have level 20s. Like, I, I grow a lot of fungus. I got level 20s. If you have a better one than that, tell me how you got so much mushrooms. Uh, but I get, because I can collect as much mushrooms as I can. Now, one source for mushrooms. Let's talk about that. A source for mushrooms is the ladybug. Uh, and the ladybug, he's flipping around somewhere. I usually find him, I can find him through the daily tasks. I can find a ladybug. Now, if we go into the ladybug, I can see I, I've bought everything else, but I can buy some honey with mush, with fungus. I always like to buy honey. I can buy mushrooms, 1.2 million with 500 million leaf, which is a great deal. And water. Water is great to trade for mushrooms every chance I get. I can also refresh this. So let's see, confirm. Okay, I can buy with mushrooms here. If 
fungus, sorry. I can buy... Okay, not a lot going on with uh, fungus in this free one. I'm going to grab some honey while I'm here. Excuse me. While I uh, feed my ants. Honey is very important, too. But we're talking about fungus. Oh, I can buy some plants with some fungus, but that's not a good deal. Anywho. Um, let's consult our list. Termites, termite farm. Okay, native fungi, supreme fungi. Now, the fastest way I'm going to be able to do this is to go under building, which is here, and go to fungus. And that'll t show you everything we got. So, okay, supreme native fungi. You have to buy a light contract to get that. I'm not going to buy a light contract anytime soon. I'm not really a paid player. Although I'm going to mention now, I do have a donation button on my site. I've never mentioned it before. There's a donation button there. You could send me some money and say, hey, buy the light contract if you were so inclined. But I'm not going to do it right now. Native fungi. The native fungi growing underground provide the necessary fungi for the ant colony. I've got one of those, and that's all you can get. So that's the first one you get. Now, and of course, the leaf cutters are under here. Fungus Depot is under here. And with my fungus depot, I was upgrading before. What else we got for? Oh, treasure reform. Yes. So if I X out of here, and I zip on over to the treasure reform, we're going to look in the treasure storage and see that there is fungus here. Treasure, shiny mushroom. Um, a tiny mushroom with faint light after activating it. Carrier ant attack plus 7.4. Guardian ant defense plus 7. Point four and shooter ant health plus three. Um, you can collect these tiny mushrooms, shiny mushrooms, and then upgrade the treasury and um, all these stats. So there's another fungus in the game. Um, and there's more. Oh my goodness. Fungus among us. A humongous fungus among us. Where is the evolution center? Building. Develop evolution fungi. See, I forgot about this one too when I was doing this one. So, the spherical fungus growing underground offers unexpected evolution effects. This is one that helps you. Why can't I get out of this X? Okay, details evolution speed plus 100% at level 24. Is there any point to? Upgraded or can it even be upgraded? It could be upgraded, but I don't have 160 million wet soil to do it with, all things considered. Okay, so that's the treasury form. Um, there's also in the inventory, and this is a question for you. I'm hoping that someone's going to help me out here because if I look under other. There's a kind of fungus down here. Um, this one. I bought a couple of them from the VIP, I believe. Level reversion mushroom. Why do I want to do this? A brightly colored and rare mushroom can be used to revert the level of insects. Why do I want to revert the level of my insects? And also, how does it work in conjunction with the seaweed with magic ingredients? Can be used to... Oh, I get. I know what that is. I understand that one. I already figured that out. Um, this one, you can reset the activated talents to your insects. If, you know, you, if you did them wrong, the evolution talents wrong, you can go back and reset it. I'm probably going to do that eventually soon when I work on those. So, I mean, that's pretty comprehensive fungus in the game. Um, I don't see much else on my list. Please let me know if there's any more um, fungus in this game and how it can be used. And how you can obtain it. Um, maybe I can look at this. I looked at the mine shops. Now, if I was there anything in the inventory shops? Let's see. Inventory shops there. No war. No fun. Oh, toxic mushrooms. We got to talk about toxic mushrooms. Um, toxic mushrooms are very important because they help your defenses and make your your ants attack stronger. Now if I go back to my hill, I know that I have my toxic fungi up here, level 25 already. So let's take a look at it though. 
power 16,000, it gives attack plus, or attack 35,000. More info. I'm at toxic fungi level 25. I can't increase it anymore, so that gives me the maximum attack I can get right now. Oh, and I don't even know how to level up from 26. I think I have to move to a different server that accepts higher levels, and that's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to deal with that soon, because I'm almost built out. Not much left else to build, but I have to build one more thing to finish the... Let's take, let's take a look at the war zone. I promise to finish this event today. I am so close. So all I have to do is build one more building, probably. So let's go find something to build. And if not much left, I know I can always build a meat depot because I, I don't like those. There's no way I'm getting another termite farm, am I? Leafs, here we go. Let's do a level 25 just to get it, see if I can get it done. Oh yeah, no problem. Speed up, quick tap. Oh, there we go. Did that do it? If that did it, strongest war zone. I got my goal. And my friend just came home with his daughter. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> oink, 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 oink